okay so this is part d uh, question number one write exactly two pic18 instructions to double to double the value in the access bank register hex 30 so basically what we're supposed to do to double means we need to add the content of fire register with fire register this is how you can actually double but you know that there is no instruction that will allow us to add fire register with fire register so the closest that we can do is we can use this instruction which is add working register to file register so what we can do is this working register ideally we want add the content of f with f but we don't have such instruction we have working to file what we can do is we can move the content of the file register into working register and then add the file register and we store back the answer in file register in this way we get to double the value in access bank register so the first thing that we need to do is we move f hex 30 to working register and then what we do we add working register now bear in mind now uh, the content of hex 30 is loaded into working register so you're going to add to fire register make sure the fire register is hex 30 and the destination should be the fire register because you want to store back the answer in the fire register and access bank so this is how you get to double the second question write an instruction sequence to write zero value so the point here is to write zero value in data register hex 135 so when you see uh, the address 135 now this address 135 is uh, definitely cannot be part of the access bank so we have to use a bank system so there are few ways that you actually you can write zero um, in file register uh, 135 one way is you can um, move literal value 0 into working register and then you can move ff working register to hex 135 this is one way you can do this or um, another way is you can use the clear f instruction so clear f instruction has this format clear f s f and a so this f if you look in this instruction set let's go back up so we can use the clear f clear f this f is actually referring to 8 bit file register address and our data memory is 12 so which means you have to use bank so how do we write the instruction so we have to move l b we need to select bank 1 and then we can use clear f we write the 8 bit address which is 35 8 bit address this is 12 bit address 8 bit address only involves this 3 5 and you're going to use banked so this is how you can write the zero value in the particular file register so this is part d question number three so swapping the contents of two registers a and b can be done using the following algorithms so you need to introduce a third register used as a temporary storage and here's the sequence so given that a is a register hex 440 b is register 550 and c is working register use the above algorithm to write a sequence of pic18 instructions that swap the contents of a and b follow the following steps now the steps are already given 
so you just have to write a sequence an instruction sequence for each one of these commands so that's quite relatively straightforward activate bank 4 we know the instruction to activate bank 4 is move lb4 move the content of a to c so rem remember that uh, we are doing this a is actually um, x440 to c is working register so this is actually data movement from file to working register there are two types of instruction which you can uh, use for this one is you can use move f which has f d and a or you can use move f f file source to file destination so there can be two answers here but we can because we have already activated bank 4 we can straight away write move f x 40 we can only write the 8 bit file register address so which is 40 and we store into working register and we have to select banked now at the same time optionally you still can use move if have no harm it will still give you the right answer so you can move hex 4 for 0 to working register so both are accepted next you move b to a so what is b b is hex 550 to a is actually 440 so both are this data movement is file to file so we have to use move ff instruction for this so we're gonna write move file register to file register what is the source address is going to be hex 550 to the destination which is hex 440 next one is activate bank 5 so this is also straightforward move lb5 move the content of c to b so what is c c is working register and b is hex 550 so this data movement is uh, moving from working register to file so there are two ways you can actually use this one you can use move wf or you can use i'm sorry let me just correct this or you can use move ff so let's say if you're using the move wf so move wf has only two field and I, I just don't have space let me just wait here move wf has f and a and whereas this one fs and fd so there could be two answer one i could i could write move the content of working register to file register which is you can only write the 8 bit file register address which is hex 50 and you have to write banked so the previous bank is activated is 5 so this it will be referring to 550 or you can write move ff working register to 550 okay part b is rewrite the instructions using only move ff instructions here so here specifically it mentions you have to use move ff so let us write back what is the sequence that we have to follow we're supposed to move a to c and then b to a and then c to b uh, a the address for a is hex 440 b is hex 
5550 and C is working register so how do we write instruction so we just follow the first one this is quite straightforward and easy move FF what is A A is hex 440 C is uh, working register so you can write working register the next one is moving B to A move FF the address of B is 550 A is 440 then move FF uh, C to B is C I'm sorry C is working register so working register to B is hex 550 so this is quite straightforward C rewrite the instruction assuming A and B our registers hex 40 and 50 in the access bank so now we are assuming a and b are hex 40 and hex 50 so what is uh, again the sequence is the same we need to um, shift a to c b to a and c to b but the address now is a slight change the address a is hex 40 b is hex 50 c remains the same which is a working register so the first one is you need to move a to C which means you're moving from file register to working register so you can use you can use move F instruction for this uh, actually you can use two instructions which is move FF and also move F so um, let's write this we're gonna use move F going to move the content of a which is hex 40 to working register which is in access bank and then b is moving uh, b to a this is file register to file register so you don't have any choice you have to use move ff for this so this is move ff what is b b is hex 50 and what is A? A is hex 40. And the last one is what type of instruction is this? C to B. This is from working register to file register. So you can either use move FF or you can use move WF. So you can use move WF. That means moving the content working register to file register which is hex 50 and A. So this is the answer. <coughs> so this is the um, part D. Uh, part D, the last question. Contrast between your solutions for A, B, C in terms of size of source code, which means number of lines, uh, size of object code, which means in terms of number of instruction words, bank switching overhead, yes or no, readability, the scale 1 to 3, 3 is the best so readability means easy to understand or read or less instructions so let's see A A is actually referring to this one so let's see this is A let me just enlarge in this this is A so let's see size of source code number of lines so how many lines we have we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we have five lines uh, size of object code is meaning to say that number of instruction words what it means by instruction word is one instruction is actually is one word so this is one word this is two word this is uh, sorry this is one word this is also one word the second one 
The third one is two words because remember that move ff is 32 bits instruction so which means it consists of two words take note that one word is equivalent to 16 bits so this is two words so this is one word this is one word so it will be one two three four five six six words um, considering if we choose move f and also move wf it will be six words if we choose move ff and move ff in this part uh, in this part uh, it will be uh, eight so we're going to take the minimum one which is going to be six so do we have uh, bank switching overhead yes because we have to change the banks right so yes we have that so let's write that first so number of lines is now we find five size of object code is six words six words do we have bank switching yes reliability okay we hold on first we're going to check b and c so let's go back to b and c so in terms of uh, size of source code how many lines this is one two three lines how about the the c c also has three lines so both is both are three and three size of object code so size of object code this is two words two words and two words so which means six words how about this one this is one word this is two words so it's three and then this is one word four so one two three four so earlier was six this is four so this is six words this is four do we have bank switching the earlier one no we don't have bank switching for both of them so this is no and this is no so readability so in terms of readability we can say that this b and c they are interchangeable they can either this one can be the the best or this can be the best or if you choose this one to be the best this one can be second best if you choose c to be the best and this one can be second best so that is interchangeable so for that part For that part uh, this B and C can either be two or three so the worst is this one the best is could either be B or C so you can put either as one two three or if you want you can put as one three two because these two are interchangeable 